today on Urban Gardener. We're headed to Brooklyn Heights to visit a stunning atrium. sunk right into a house, and so what used to be an open room is now a garden room. Part of what defines this garden room is its separation and its enclosure. Primarily this is a texture garden. You know, we have uh, shades of green, we still have this gravel medium, but one of the really interesting features is the flooring. You can have sort of a haphazard floor or you can have a really regular floor. Here they've chosen to use stumps, and one of the things that may happen, if you don't plan too carefully, is that it might be a little uneven for any furniture that you're trying to put on. But once you find a good spot, it becomes a great place for a conversation. Maintaining a garden like this is not that difficult. Most of these plants will maintain their shapes and grow to their proper habits and not overgrow the space. We might need to clip back the vines if they get a little bit out of control, but this is a really slow growing vine and the Virginia creeper is a native, so if it escapes, you know, it's already out there. Another really cool thing about this garden is the different kinds of climbers that they have going up over this wall. Red is sort of opposite on the color spectrum from green, and so the red brick here really sort of brings out the green in both of these climbers. The other thing that really defines this kind of a space is the enclosure. This used to be an actual room, and now it's a garden. So this is a situation that's rather unique to urban gardening, to be able to have a garden room right inside of the living space. See you next time on Urban Gardener. You are watching Spaces. Love what we have? Subscribe and find us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. Let's hang.